Welcome to the very first edition of Riff Pit. Good times. I'm here to teach you something that maybe you didn't know before. Maybe I didn't even know before. I don't know. There's a lot of different things that you can add with this um, as you go up. So we'll just kind of play around with it and, you know, hopefully you can take at least something away from it. Tuned in uh, drop C, C, G, C, F, A, D. So, uh, but it doesn't really matter what you're tuned in because you can play this on any guitar anywhere. We're only really using the top three strings, so, or bottom three strings. We're only using the F, A, D, or in standard, G, B, E strings. So we start like this. So we do, uh, from fret seven to nine on the F string, if you're tuned in uh, drop C, 7 to 9 on the F string with a slide, and then we'll hit the 11 uh, with a hammer on with the uh, ring finger. Start like that, and then we go up, and we're able to actually use a, if uh, when you're moving fast enough, you use a uh, sweep technique for the two notes that come above on the A and then D string. So we start with this, and then like this. So together, um, we go 7, 9, 11, and then we go 10 and 9 on the A and the D, and you can actually sweep those notes and just do a small, so just all in the down direction for uh, these two strings right here, and we'll get like a type of thing, and then you just uh, throw the middle finger for a hammer on right here, so like that, the 10, 9, 10, 9, and then we come back down, and then do, uh, you want to upstroke sweep these two notes right here, the 10 on the A, and then the 11 on the G, all upwards. And then finally return to um, your 7 on the uh, F string. So you're coming down, you go. And you can just do the uh, exact opposite for your way down there as you did when you start. And do the um, pull off from 11 to 9. And then slide for the 7. So totally you're looking at something like this. And then, uh, once you get that kind of going on, then you can uh, do some higher stuff, add some more notes, and uh, eventually even there's a, you can do some tapping as an extension. So we'll start here, and so the next note will just be the 12 on the uh, D string. So add that, uh, get that going quicker, and you can kind of throw the sweeps in um, a little faster. You'll end up feeling like, like that. If you want to throw like a, a metronome up or something like that, then uh, playing along to this is uh, it's good for uh, for timing in your fingers and the hand-eye coordination it takes to move from string to string. <clears throat> and then um, you want to go even higher, you want to take this even to the next level, then we will throw in a tap with our right finger. So we'll start here at the bottom. Ooh. And uh, that just is tapping with whatever finger is most comfortable. I use my middle finger um, on fret 14 on the high D and uh, then you can get going with like uh, an off time uh, kind of repeating drum pattern and you know do stuff like that. Uh, the next one is a tap slide. Same variation on this lick. Start here at the 7.
Okay, so all the way up, and then the, the slide that you want to hit with uh, your finger is going to be 14 on the D. Slide up to 17, and then back to 14. So just like that, right at the top of your lick, so we'll go. <clears throat> Still uh, keeping the, uh, the two-string sweep pattern in there is... Um, difficult which is why it's good for you and for me <laughs> basically what you end up with and once you uh get flying with it and throw it you know it's, it's it would be like a really cool thing to throw in the middle of a solo or something like a type of thing so that is uh riff pit number one thank you so much for watching if you have uh comments suggestions uh any requests uh, stuff that you want to learn Leave them below and make sure to get to them.